we try to have that pursuit of excellence in everything that we do from a coaching, training, organization, planning perspective, and also to inspire the kids to strive for that and have those higher standards and that feeling that it's a center of excellence, not just any academy. And I think that's even in, again, in the part of the name itself, it sets the tone for what we're trying to do and, and the expectations that are there for the kids. I'm here at Limitless Center for Excellence, correct? Yeah, Center of Excellence. Uh, we're here in Hallandale Beach and it's a beautiful facility, both clay court and hard courts. I'm here with uh, the folks that run the academy. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. They have a crazy tennis background. We all know each other from Saddlebrook days uh, up in Tampa area. So here, let me hand off the mic. Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Gaurav. I'm director of coaching at Limitless Center of Excellence here in Hollandale Beach. Uh, we are here creating an environment and a program which is exclusive for athletes, those who are aspiring to be uh, future stars. Hi, I'm Liam, the Director of Operations here at Limitless Center of Excellence and as Gaurav said, we're trying to create a very special environment for junior tennis players that are looking to develop to their, their maximum potential, looking for a, a college career or a professional tennis career and really help players develop with all the different resources, experience and tools that we have here. Let's talk first about your background in tennis, which is pretty amazing. Some of the players you've worked with, what you did in Australia, and just in general, how you came to the sport. Yeah, I've been involved since a very young age uh, playing. Unfortunately, I wasn't as good a player as I would have liked to be, but uh, I've had a, a, a great, very fortunate and lucky career coaching, and I've been able to, to learn from some incredible people over the years, which, which helped me a lot on my journey. People like you know, Pat Echeberry or Tommy Thompson, Alvaro Betancourt, Carlos Rodriguez, many people that helped shape me as a coach over the years. Uh, Harold Solomon would be another one and um, you know I find that's very fortunate and I've been able to work hard and, and been fortunate enough to to work with a lot of very good players with with Monfils, with Coco Goff, with um, you know being a national head coach at Tennis Australia developing a lot of the players that you see on tour today uh, players like Alex Di Menard from a, a young age and you know just a, a very fortunate career that uh, has allowed me to, to gain a lot of experience and, uh, and a lot of, um, let's say, education and skills to help the, the, the future generations, which is why we're, we're here at Limitless doing this, this project to help, help young players develop for the future. I started, as Liam said earlier, I was not also a great tennis player, but I had a hunger and desire to become uh, a tennis coach at, at a level that uh, I could share all the information with uh, you know young upcoming tennis players. So I had to study a lot, dig down deep uh, to different federations, go to Australia, go to Canada, go to England, uh, and uh, traveled around the world and lived in different parts of the world you know, different methodologies and I learned a lot from all these areas and, you know, was fortunate enough to work at Vandermeer's along with Liam and uh, and then in Saddlebrook, you know, I was uh, there with Tommy Thompson, with uh, Alvaro Bentancur and uh, had a fortunate enough experience to go through ITF and their modules and a lot of stuff during my uh, early careers and then end up uh, Moving up north, leading a bunch of tennis programs and developing a lot of players, you know, uh, into national champions and helping some of the junior Grand Slam players, champions. And uh, here we are at Limitless and uh, trying to replicate that and uh, do a lot even better. All right, we'll just do, do one more question so we don't go too long, but I will say this. I've been very impressed with the approach here. Uh, with how different you guys view the game, I think, than in a lot of the different academies I've seen around Florida and around the country. What is it that makes Limitless so different? I'll let each of you answer that. I, th I think a lot of it, it, it comes from the name straight away, that we, we want to inspire our athletes to you know, reach for the stars, that there are no limits, that uh, you, know, you can achieve anything that you want with the right attitude, the right work, and, and the right help and guidance. So I think that's the... For me, that's the biggest one. And then it's also our, our mission is to, is to develop tennis players as opposed to just have loads of kids and, and just it's a business. No, we actually, we're in the business of developing players and that's the, that's the biggest focus and the biggest difference, I think, for us. Yeah. You know, as uh, Liam said, um, I think we, he 
telepathically already knew what I wanted to say <laughs> that uh, we don't have limitless uh, limits here that's why we're limitless you know for for us is like developing characters developing athletes is uh, also creating in a human beings for giving an example let's say uh, if you see a falcon if ever you see a falcon ever trying to land on the tree it finds a, the thinnest branch and this this is the weakest branch he's not scared of the weakest branch is going to break but he's aware of his strength that if it breaks he can fly off okay. that branch because he's strong enough he knows that no matter how many times he's going to fail if the branch is weak but he's strong enough he can fly so and he's searching constantly for those places over the water to to fall asleep at night so we are in constantly in a hunt of producing that quality of players that they are strong enough no matter what situation arrives in their life through tennis that they can carry through their future yeah yeah I think as well one other thing one other thing to add is also the the name that we chose to be a center of excellence as opposed to an academy is that we try to have that pursuit of excellence in everything that we do from a coaching training organization planning perspective and also to inspire the kids to strive for that and have those higher standards and that feeling that it's a center of excellence not just any academy and I think that's even in again in the part of the name itself it sets the tone for what we're trying to do and and the expectations that are there for the kids well, great, guys. If you uh, are a Florida tennis reader, subscriber, uh, follower, please make sure you get over here to Limitless Center of Excellence. Check out the facility. Come and just watch what's going on here. It's really special, really different, and very impressive. So I think you'll love it here in Hallandale Beach. And lastly, at Limitless, there is no day off. Rain, shine, whatever. <laughs> we are out here. We are working. We don't have indoors, but we are in the gym. We are in the classrooms. We are training. Every day is on for us. Every day we understand is precious, and we are out there to put maximum effort. Well, thanks so much, guys. Thank you. Okay, cool. Awesome.